My name is Dr. Stephen Phillips. I work here at the University of Pennsylvania Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology, and I see dead people. In ancient Egypt, we think of many things. We think of the Nile River, we think of the pyramids, we think of the Sphinx, and we always think of mummies. It wasn't until the time of the pyramids that full-scale deliberate mummification became the standard way of burial, especially for people in upper classes and certainly for royalty. We begin to get to a point where internal organs are removed. Why? Because they can decay and cause the entire mummy to decay. The lungs, liver, intestines are all taken out. The heart was left in its place for the most part. The brain was removed, usually using a tool very similar to this one. How did they do that? A hammer, a mallet, a piece of wood, break through the bones behind the nasal cavity, reach in with a brain hook, pull the brain out in pieces, and throw it away. Why? It wasn't believed that the brain was important. It was believed that the seed of intelligence of everything to do with the individual was contained in the heart. I encourage you to come and visit us for the Philadelphia Science Festival. On April 24th, we're going to have a special program on the science of conservation here at the Penn Museum. We've got actual ancient Egyptian mummies on display, including ones that were mummified naturally and ones that were mummified deliberately.